I'm the shit Yeah, I know she was your bitch Yeah, it's something about the wrist Yeah, we driving fast as shit Don't ever think about passing me I always move with a sack on me I always smell like gas on me I don't know what you guys can see on the video because it's not connected to my phone. But I am going to log my fuel pressure. So I'm hoping this works. Um, so I have engine speed selected, low pressure, actual value, intake manifold pressure corrected, intake manifold pressure raw value because I'm not sure which one AP tuning needs. And I got throttle valve angle to see uh, obviously how much throttle, throttle I'm giving it. Um, all right, so I guess I'm gonna do it. Ready to do the first log. As soon as I come around this turn, we're about 2,500 RPM. That's fine. It's a long ass entrance ramp. All right, let's get it. I can definitely feel it fuel cut around 5,500 or something. Yeah, fuel cut again. All right, here we go, boys. Hoping that's hoping that's what I need. Yeah, I hit like a fuel cut around six thousand in third gear, which I mean, what am I supposed to do at 6,000, bro? Whole lot of engine left, whole lot of turbo left. This is the shit that gets me right here. There's a perfectly good sidewalk and you got your kid in the fucking street. I just can't comprehend that shit, dude. So I got it to log. You see, as the RPM goes up, the fuel pressure should be going up, but it's falling it's in the five, five bar, four bar, three bar, three bar, four bar, four bar, four bar, three bar, three bar, four bar. In this box, we're full throttle. 3,000 RPM, it goes to four bar. Come on, goddammit. Four, five, five, four and a half. 3.4 yeah right there that's on that log let's see did I get another one let's see here's another one that's full throttle right here this one is full throttle you can see the fuel pressure goes from 4.8 bar to 4.0 bar, 2.4 bar, 2.2 bar. While I'm flooring it. While it's wide open throttle. Well, 
we were uh, having trouble with the low pressure fuel pump or the pressure on the low pressure side and uh, so I don't know what happened but I popped the I popped the hood something told me pop the hood and I just heard this weird noise and I'll insert a clip right here I, I, I don't know how this went unnoticed uh, by us, by anybody, but this has been leaking for, pro for probably a long time. And the hose has a, a crack in it or it's dried out. Actually, it looks pretty dried out, to be honest. So I'm thinking what happened is I probably got that, uh, what's that stuff called, Richard? What's that shit called? That quick dry stuff? Yeah, the sweeping compound. The sweeping yeah. stuff? This line might have touched it at some point. And it would have dried out the fuel and probably cooked the hose. So in theory, replacing this hose might fix all of my fueling issues. So next step is we're gonna replace this hose. And then um, relog the fuel pressure. I don't know if uh, I need to be on ethanol or not because now that I'm on 93, the car's seeing like 37 pounds. So I don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I just started it too. You're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think we're gonna pull the the power cable or whatever to the fuel line to the fuel pump so we can pull pull this off with no pressure in it take four uh, 12 <laughs> hours later <laughs> yo fuck this hell, man. the fuck doesn't even know yeah. he's a pair of pliers yeah get, get the fuck out of here right, let's inspect this real quick he's gonna shoot us Please inspect you. Ooh, ooh, we got a little piercing in there. Come on, focus. What if this clamp is just on its last fucking leg? You know? What if this clamp can't hold the pressure? Nah, there's a crack right there, though. If this camera can focus. Where do you see the crack? Right there. Just squeak, pinch it. Oh, yeah, it's dry around like a motherfucker. So now I need to go get some fuel line and it sh hopefully goes back on. Fixes it. Got some new line thrown on there. I don't see any leaks. Say we're done. Just need to log the fuel pressures now. After re-logging the fuel pressure, uh, here you can see under wide open throttle or watt the values 86% is full throttle and then the fuel pressure over here in green does not drop off during the uphill climb of the RPM. Well, boys, I'm sitting here editing this video, and I realize I don't have an outro or an explanation to what the next move is. Um, so now that the fuel pressure is corrected, I plan on taking it back to AP Tuning and shooting for that 500-500 mark. Um, but definitely stay tuned if you want to see that. I'm still trying to become the first 10-second manual Golf R. Um, so I hope that 500-500 uh, that will help me get in the 10s. I'll need all the help I can get with that silly third gear issue or whatever.